Hi everyone, Vince here. Welcome to another Linux Terminal tutorial. In my last video about XR&R, which I'll card at the top of the screen, I mentioned I would make a follow-up that shows how to set up custom resolutions on your monitor. This was also in response to a couple of questions I helped to answer from other users not too long ago. They were having problems with either a fancy new ultra-wide monitor they had just bought, or an older monitor that, for some reason, just wasn't being recognised correctly by the kernel drivers. This resulted in them not being able to set the native resolutions on their display because it wasn't coming up as an option in whatever tool they were using to set up their screens in their desktop environments. The following sets of commands helped them to fix this, which again shows the power of the terminal, its distro agnostic nature, and in particular, the versatility of XR and R. If you'd like some more information about XR and R, check out this man page, which I'll link down below, and also this Arch Wiki page. Now, the details of how to set up a custom resolution were summarized very nicely some time ago here by a very fantastic community member, Mr. Zebedee Boss, in this post. It's also detailed in the XR and R Arch Wiki page under this section adding undetected resolutions. What I'll be doing is I'll be referring to both of these pages as I go along. To demonstrate how this all works with you, I've set up a virtual machine here. I'll bring it up for you. This is a virtual machine running in VirtualBox of Arch Linux D with a Cinnamon desktop. What I've done here is I've set up this virtual machine such that its resolution won't scale correctly to my uh, window size that I've set it at. As you can see here, it's going over to the uh, right of the page a little bit. This is me trying to artificially simulate what we're trying to do when you plug in a monitor and the resolution isn't detected. What I'm going to attempt to do is, without having Virtual Machine or Virtual Box Guest Editions set up in this virtual machine, I'm going to force this VM to resize itself to this particular window size, which I measured before and I know is 952 by 987 pixels. What you're going to need to know is the correct resolution that you want your monitor to be set at, whether it be something typical like 1920 by 1080, or another ultra-wide resolution, or a smaller resolution. It'll depend on your hardware. Now, if we refer to Zebedee Boss's post, we can get started with all our commands. There is just one more thing you need to know, and that is the name of the particular display that you're pushing these resolutions to. To get that name, you type simply XR and R alone as a command. And if you scroll to which uh, monitors are actually connected, the name of the monitor you're going to need is the first part of that line there. So in my situation, in this virtual machine, it's called Virtual 1. We'll just keep that in mind for the moment. The first set of commands we need to run from the instructions here is CVT. And here you put in the resolution that you would like to set. In my situation, it is 952 by 987. But of course, yours is going to depend on your monitor. And when I hit that command, it'll actually give us a mode line. Now these are the particular parameters that XRNR is going to need to know to be able to add a new mode to itself. The particular part of the output that we're interested in is just after it says mode line here, you want to copy all of this line uh, all the way to the end. It's zoomed in here for me so that's why it's sort of wrapped over to the next uh, line here and we copy that. I'm just going to put it in a text editor for safekeeping. So I'll just paste it in there. Moving on, we need to then type XR and R and have it set a new mode. Here we paste that part of the line that we just copied. In Zeb's post from the forum here, he tells us to remove the quotation marks. Now I'm not sure, in my testing, leaving the quotation marks in still works, and that's what it also recommends in the ArchWiki as well. It may be that uh, he was using an older version, 
or a different distro. So you can try both types of commands depending on what works for you. When we run that command, we should see no error. Our next step is to run this next command here, which is to add mode. So we go X, R and R, dash, dash, add mode. And the next part of this command is the name of your monitor. In my situation, it was virtual one. This was the name of the monitor that you got by running the XR and R command up here. After that, we have to put the new mode that we just put in, and it is simply this part of our previous command. So we can just copy that and paste it here. Run that. Again, no error, so great. Finally, we can test it out and see if it works. XR and R. Now we name our output that we want to push the setting to. And we type in the mode that we would like to set, which is this mode here, which I've still got in, in the clipboard, so I can just paste it in there. And we press enter, and bingo bongo, we have, well, full window. Just to reiterate, this method is only useful when your resolution hasn't been detected by your system, by its kernel. You can see here when I ran the XR and R command initially, this resolution that I wanted, which was this window size, was not listed as one of the options I could choose. Hence, what I needed to do was set up this new mode, add it as a recognized mode in XR and R, and then set my monitor, which is virtual one, to this resolution. Now, there is still one drawback to this method, and that is, once you've done this and you happen to reboot your machine, the settings haven't been saved and you'll have to do it again. There is a way around this and it is described back here in the Arch Wiki where we scroll down a little bit further and we can see here it says permanently add undetected resolutions. This ends up being a fairly simple thing to do. It says here that you will need to put a custom setting in your Etsy x11 xorg.conf.d directory and they suggest naming the file 10-monitor.conf. So let's do that over here. Simply we just go sudo nano so terminal text editor slash etsy slash x11 slash xorg should autocomplete and let's call it what they suggest at 10-monitor.conf. put in our password, here we are. And this is an example of the settings that you may need for that file. In my testing, I have only needed this section of the file. So because I haven't got guest editions installed in this virtual machine, I've got this page open as well. The XR and R in my virtual machine and permanent adding undetected resolutions. We copy this part of the file, we paste it into here. There are a few bits you will need to edit, and for me, this will be the name of the display, and which is virtual one in this VM, and the mode line here is what we copied and pasted earlier. So we'll just delete what they had, we'll go back to what we had copied earlier, we paste it into here, there we are, and the next line we also need to adjust, and that is the preferred mode, it's not that one, it's our 952 by 987, we save by hitting control O, and enter and exit by control X. Now, if we are to reboot, it should hopefully bring us back up in this custom resolution. So let's try that.
Well, there you have it. It worked. I sincerely hope this video will go on to help somebody else one day. Hit subscribe and the bell if you want to get notified of future videos. Leave me any questions, comments or suggestions down below. Bye bye.